Hey, it's the Steel Lodge. Today we're checking out the newest update for the Steam Deck, which added a bunch of the beta branch features to the stable branch. Now, a lot of these features have been covered by me or other creators, but one thing that I did want to look at more was the fact that this update added more internal resolutions to the Steam Deck. Now, this is great because the Steam Deck obviously has FSR built into it that you can use for any game. Now that we have more internal resolutions, we have more ways to use FSR with the Steam Deck and customize how we want to play our games. Now I've done a video covering The Witcher 3 and setting custom resolutions over there. Unfortunately, you still probably want to use that video because I'll cover it later, but The Witcher 3 doesn't support a lot of these new internal resolutions for the game. But there are three games we're going to look at today, and that's uh, Dark Souls 3, Tales of Rise, and The Witcher 3. And then primary resolution we're going to be using is 1024 by, I believe it's 576. And this is 64% of the pixels that's in 720p. So this gives us a good pixel savings and using FSR to upscale it back, we get pretty good image quality. And I like using this better than 540p because 540p on the Steam Deck with FSR leaves the UI a little uh, blurry, a little fuzzy, while this resolution helps the UI stay a little bit better quality for us. Let's jump into it. Here are the resolutions that we used to have for Dark Souls 3. Note there's only one resolution between 540p and 720p, and it's a 4x3 aspect ratio resolution. And now with the update, there's way more resolutions we can pick from, and this is super nice for FSR. So now we're using 1024 by 576 and that's a 16 by 9 resolution, I believe, and we'll roll with that in FSR. The high presets also been used here for Dark Souls 3. For our first game, we got Dark Souls 3. This is more of a performance section, but we can also cover some visual aspects of it as well. Performance-wise, we're seeing around 5 FPS better in some scenes. Uh, I'd say that's the general overall. This isn't exactly a direct comparison because I can't record on two Steam Decks with the same controller and then compare them, so I'm just doing what I can to make these gameplay segments similar. Here on the 1024 side, the FPS is closer to 60 for a lot of the time, even touching it for a good amount of the time. So I'd say you could probably limit your FPS to around 50 on the 1024 with FSR and be very comfortable there. Or on the native side, I would recommend limiting your FPS to around 40, as we're going to see in this next section with this boss fight against the first boss in Dark Souls 3. When he transforms, the frame rate is going to drop a lot lower on the native version than it does for the FSR version. Now as far as quality goes, the FSR one does look pretty good, but I do notice more artifacting and shimmering happening on edges of things like grass, so maybe dropping the sharpening down to 2 or 1 would be good because grass does look pretty over-sharpened when I walk by it. Here are the studying that we're using for Tales of Arise. Tales of Arise also has a similar amount of resolutions to Dark Souls 3 as I scroll through here and find the same one I was using for Dark Souls 3. Once again, the lower resolution one's using FSR at sharpness 3. For performance in Tales of Arise, it seems like we get a bigger uplift here than we do in Dark Souls 3. Now there are some areas where the FPS is pretty similar, but in other areas like when we start this fight, you can see our FPS is around 10 to even higher than that, better than the native version. I'll let some more gameplay play out and you can just see the performance difference overall between the two, but Tales of Arise does have an interesting art style that I really appreciate, it's a great game. Later on here, just a little bit further in the video, I'll do a more direct image quality comparison between the two, so you can get an idea of a zoomed in version to see how FSR really affects the image quality. Now we do a side-by-side -side image comparison for the beginning of the game, just opening cutscene here. The image quality is pretty close here, honestly. The main things I notice are slightly more aliasing on the FSR version, and some of the texture clarity is a little bit worse. But overall, it looks pretty good for having way less pixels. Tales of Arise has a pretty interesting art style. It's very painterly, and I think the game does have some degree of sharpening employed already that you can mess with in the in-game settings. Because of this, you might want to lower the FSR sharpening so you don't get over-sharpening. In the next scene here, I can show you that you can see some sharpening artifacts when we zoom in here. Here we have a 200% zoom in. There's more artifacting on the FSR version with things flickering a bit, but it looks pretty good overall. Also, you can notice the sharpening artifacts on this little boy's face here. Now unfortunately, The Witcher 3 does not support as many resolutions as the previous two games mentioned. 
I do have a video about setting custom resolutions for Witcher 3 on the Steam Deck and it really does help. So I was really just hoping to see it in the menu here. There's one option that's slightly lower than 720p, but it's so insignificant that I don't really think it would make a difference at all. So check out my video if you want to see how to set custom resolutions for this game. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be doing a bunch more Steam Deck videos in the future and even covering some other gaming content. June's about to hit. It probably actually started when this video got uploaded. So a bunch of gaming uh, releases and news are about to happen and I want to cover those definitely. So see ya.